Hey you, it's me, Ashley Weston. So I am actually currently in NYC and I thought, why not have Baron from EffortlessJet.com join me? Hello, hey guys. Thanks for doing it. Thank you for having me. All right, so for those of you out there that don't know who Baron is, I'm gonna let you just kind of share a little info about you. Sure, uh, I run a website called Effortless Gent and we basically teach this thing I call the Lean Wardrobe, which is essentially how do you build a wardrobe that is made up of versatile pieces that are easy to mix and match so guys don't have to think too hard about what they wear when they have to go somewhere. On Baron's channel, we actually did a whole video where I share tips about how to pack lightly for your upcoming summer trip. All right, so first up, I just wanna ask you. Sure. So I know you run your website. So do you have a home office or do you work remotely? Do you usually go to a cafe? Like what's your, how do you, work. Yeah, most days I work from home, um, okay. but when I sometimes like to just switch it up and go to a coffee shop somewhere nearby. Uh, but when I do, I typically try to take everything I need with me, obviously, because I won't want to go back home. Let's talk about your bag. So this is a Philson uh, briefcase, okay. your standard briefcase. It's actually a brown color, which I don't see oh, very wow. often. It's pretty heavy, but it's like so solid. That okay. I love this bag. I can like Yeah, it looks look like off. very like you could throw this bag around yeah. and nothing's gonna happen yeah. to it. There are a ton of compartments so look, I feel like you could put your water bottle here, you could put another water bottle here, mm -hmm. and another water bottle here. <laughs> Laptop. Because yes. that's obviously the most important thing when you're going out. That is. Laptop. What do so you I use? Normal, so I have a MacBook Air. I normally okay. would bring it, and okay. today I didn't bring it. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> but I typically bring my laptop. It's a MacBook Air. It's a 13-inch MacBook Air. So it's the lightest. The reason I have that is it's the lightest one. Okay. Um, and it's easy to bring around and stuff. Case like or no times. case? I don't have a case with it. And so with a laptop, I usually bring a, um, I have this hard drive. So obviously the MacBook Airs are kind of small in storage. So if I want to do like, I don't usually edit video when I'm out, but if I have to, or if I have to uh, um, access anything else, and I have my little two terabyte hard drive. And so the brand is Transcend. I actually found on Amazon, I think it was like, it was really cheap. I think it was under a hundred dollars okay. for a, uh, a two terabyte. Hard drive. That's so, huge. And then of course, you know, you have your trusty headphones so you can drown out all the loud coffee shop noises. Okay, tell me the story behind your cord organizer. So I really love this thing. I feel really bad because it was sent to me like three years ago and I cannot remember the brand, but okay. they're really awesome and I just it's a simple cord organizer holder thing. Uh, and you can just wrap up your your Mac your headphones and it's really easy to slip in there and then it doesn't get all tangled with your other wires and stuff. Your initials are, yeah, right. <laughs> are on the back of it. It's I nice love that. Gift. I also bring this for my phone. I'm just always worried like I'm gonna lose charge wherever I am. Okay. So I have this battery. Uh, this brand is Anchor, A-N-K-E-R, and I also okay. found this on Amazon. It's just like a white extra battery that I have. So, I love how all of your devices are very neutral. It's very in line with the whole Apple clean yeah. aesthetic, yeah, of course. which is great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so there's that. And that, uh, I think, charges two phones to full capacity. So it's, there's a lot of power in that. So. Very nice. I know, that's always a worry of yeah. mine as well. So I often take a book with me, um, this, just because sometimes I get tired staring at screens a lot. So if I want to take like a five minute break, I have a book just in case I need it. This is actually uh, The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. This is my, <laughs> this is my friend Mark Manson's book. Um, very, very subtle, very yeah. subtle. <laughs> For note taking, do you mm -hmm. usually write down your notes or do you use an app on your phone or both? Both, but okay. so when I have to jot down something quick, I usually just use the notes app on my okay. phone. Uh, but for like longer, like more thought out, fleshed out things, I like mm -hmm. to write it out just because it makes it makes me feel like I can like see everything. On Visually, one. yeah. Because if okay. you're typing on the phone, sometimes you can't really put the pieces together. Mm -hmm. So I have actually a notebook for that. <laughs> so I usually take this guy around. Okay. Uh, this is probably like the brightest thing I have that's not like neutral. <laughs> so it's just a, it's a basic moleskin book. It's really old actually, so I had to like re-stitch the, <laughs> the holder. Oh wow. Um, but you know, I just keep all my notes in it. And, uh, I have a few of these. Oh, so, so you use blank pages. Yeah, just in so case. So I always those. have lined pages. But my favorite is actually the grid. Have you seen those? Dorian uses the grid. Those are my favorite. He uses the grid. Because you can use it as line paper, but yeah. you can also like draw it proportionally and accurately. Okay. So, so this is a notebook I usually take. I have like two or three, so I kind of just grab whatever one is on top in my desk. In case you lose it, there's Barry. Yeah. So you know to return it back to him. So I use the Pilot G2. I think this is like one of the best sort of ballpoint pens that write really well consistently. Keys. Oh, Where keys. In the little coin pocket of my jeans. Is it just very, a key, just I, like a... It's literally like two keys. I'm really minimal with my keys, too. I don't like carrying them. These are just all the keys just to your place? Yeah, to get the building, mail key, yeah, that's it. That's how it should be, guys, okay? You don't need 50 million keys. I guess let's move on your wallet. What yeah. do you carry? Sure, I'll pull that out. I don't think he knew I was going to ask him. I, I'm wallet. not prepared for this part, guys. <laughs> so okay. this is like my, my wallet. It's kind of messy, sorry. But um, so it's like a, it's a basic sleeve okay. with a pocket. It's from a brand called Colonel Littleton. They're based out of Tennessee. Okay. They're like 
they just, it's like a town of 800 people. So it's stamped in the back, but it's it's so subtle. It's very clean. I love the stitching. Yeah. It's all of that. It's very, very clean. And the brown has, how long have you had this? Uh, it's been a, a few years. So okay. I think it was lighter, um, mm -hmm. but I, you over can really time. see it. over time the patina sort of developed and uh, it's it's like a it's like a nicer, like dark brown, darker brown leather now. I think it used to be more of a tan. What about watch? I know that you wear a watch. Yeah. So. Do you have one watch that you always wear or do you switch it out usually? Uh, I switch it out uh, among like two or three. I have like a okay. cheap Timex. This is my watch from Linear. I think it's called the Classic Watch. Okay. I did a video about this actually. I really like this watch. Uh, the leather is really beautiful. Okay. And if you look at the face, I really like the second markers on it. Mm -hmm. It's like a tonal circular. You can't really see on the camera, but it's a really beautiful watch. It's very minimal. Do you wear sunglasses every day? Like every time you're outside, are your eyes sensitive? Yeah, I, I don't know if they're sensitive, but I just like being able to not go like this, not squint when I'm walking <laughs> around. So I always carry these with me. Uh, this is like my pair that I've been wearing for a few years. So Ray-Bans? They're just Ray-Bans, yeah. If there was one thing that you cannot live without, that you absolutely always have to have with you, at all times, whether it be just because for work or maybe as a good luck charm, what would it be? What well, so the, so I think this might be a cheating answer, but the first thought that came to mind is my phone. Okay. I literally, if I don't have my laptop or anything, I can always just do work on my phone. What kind of phone do you have? Oh, I have the, uh, it's like the 6S Plus. Okay. And I have, I bought this case, and this is the same oh, thing wow. as my, um, it's an it's Apple wallet, case. Yeah, right? it's the same thing as my wallet, where it used to be like a really tan leather, and now it's just sort of, the patina developed, you know, it's like dark brown. I love this. This this has aged very nicely, and it feels like very, just like, it's for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can't buy this. Everything that he carries, I will link it in my companion article, so be sure to check that out. I'll link it in the description below. All right, Barry, thank you so much for being a part of this series. Of I love learning about the everyday items that you carry and just the stories and reasons behind it. Yes. I really appreciate you sharing yeah. with everyone out there. All of that good stuff. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.